to welcome you in to an interview on the current situation surrounding the University of Texas football team. Here we have Nathan Boschel, current student and fan of UT football. So Nathan, what is your perspective on the most recent firing of Charlie Strong as head coach of UT football? I mean, it's difficult to sum up that an answer for that question succinctly because on one side, Charlie Strong is such a good man. And on the other side, his results as a head coach were so poor. He brought a lot to the university. I think, let's start off with the good things. He reinstilled the core values of not just the athletic program, but of the university. And his first priority was making good men out of these players. And then winning a national championship, as he said. But you have to have the wins and you have to have the losses. And he had too many losses. So I think overall, it was the right decision to fire him. Because at the University of Texas, three years is more than enough. It seems in this day and age with college football, after about a year to a year and a half, you kind of know if the coach is the right fit and if it's going to work out. And I think three years was long enough. And especially with a guy like Tom Herman out there that we yes. could get and ultimately did get, I think it was right. the right call. And on that note, Nathan, uh, being, of course, the most recent hiring of Tom Herman later to be announced officially at 5 o'clock today, um, what do you think, uh, based on your belief, what do you think is going to be the most important thing that Tom Herman has is going to have to deal with as an incoming head coach at UT? The most important thing to deal with is going to be the politics of the university. We're a very big university and we're the richest university in the country. And this is the official UT hand sign, but the unofficial one is this. Because money talks. And he's going to have to put up with so much more pressure from donors and boosters and politicians and fans than he ever had to do at the University of Houston. But the good thing that Herman has going for him is that he's been at UT. He was here under yes. Mac Brown. So he has the experience of the university. He also coached under Urban Meyer. So he's got experience in just overall big climate of football and recruiting, which is going to be big. I saw a map the other day saying that uh, it's basically broken down to like counties and school districts. And out in East Texas, the University of Houston was dominant in recruiting in their area. So now with the backing of the University of Texas, he'll be able to branch out, hopefully nationwide, and bring in more recruits. So I would say his most important challenges are going to be dealing with the boosters and the politicians and the heads of the university and recruiting battles. Good. I saw the other day that Deontay Foreman was going to file for the NFL draft. Uh, do you think that the University of Texas football record this season will hurt his draft stock in any way? Damn, that's a good question. Um, I think it will. I think it will, but not for his production, but when you look at running backs, you got to think about the talent that they had around them. And he didn't have much talent around him. And considering that we didn't even make a bowl game this year, we won't be able to see Deontay against higher level talent from the SEC or from the Big Ten or from the Pac-12. So I think through that and through the fact that he just didn't really get a lot of attention outside of us at UT, then I think that will slightly hurt his stock. Yeah, but he did he did reach that 2,000-yard mark, joining, of course, the likes of Ricky Williams and 
many others, so he is a somewhat of a standout. Yeah, he was definitely the best running back in the country this year, which is kind of why I was saying, you know, what I was just saying. He was the best running back in the country this year, yet in the Heisman watch, he wasn't really put up with the likes of Jake Browning or Lamar Jackson or uh, used to be Greg Ward Jr. and everybody else that's in it. He was just kind of like on the fringe. He was on the border. So I think because he didn't get a lot of attention because we were losing so much, that could hurt his stock. Um, But because he's a running back, he'll have the opportunity to go to the NFL Combine and put on a good show and I think I think if he has a great combine performance, then that will elevate his stock and it will compensate for possible loss of stock due to our five and seven record. Uh, final question for you, Nathan. Uh, do you think with the fact that UT is bringing in Tom Herman from the University of Houston, of course his record there in just two seasons, 22 and four, pretty uh, pretty impressive. Do you think Texas will be better off than they were when Charlie Strong left? That That's difficult to answer. I mean, there's so many unknowns with this situation because the whole team loved Charlie Strong. And they were in tears after TCU. There was a small threat of a boycott before that game, um, I mean, they just they love that man. We everybody on campus loves him, but with the new coach coming in, how are these kids going to react? How will the likes of Shane Bouchelle re- react? And I don't really have an answer to that. We just have to wait and find out. Charlie Strong came in to the university three years ago, and. He cleaned house. He really made an impact on day one. So we'll just have to see what Tom Herman does on day one. Um, my my trepidation with Tom Herman is kind of the same thing that I had with Charlie Strong. Is the leap from the University of Houston to the University of Texas too big? Is it too much of a difference? Because with Charlie Strong, he came from Louisville. In Charlie's third year at Louisville, he won the division. He won the conference. And he made it a big bowl game. And third year at Texas, he gets fired. It's a big leap. And we'll have to see just what he does. I don't really know. I don't think anybody really knows. We'll just have to leave it to time. Alright. Well, that's about it. Uh, Thank you for being with us, Nathan. Thank you.